Okay, today's lesson is going to be how to finish the edge, the raw edge of your fabric. Now, if you don't finish the edge, uh, what happens is over time, things start to pull on it. You see how it starts to fray like this? And you get a really terrible looking finish on your garment. See how it just, just comes apart? That's just the nature of a woven fabric. What happens is you have sewn your seam and it starts to fray a little bit and then you put it in the wash and wash it and it just comes unraveled. And some fabrics are loosely woven enough that it could actually um, make your seam come apart. You know, right here it would just pull apart. So we don't want that to happen. So we need to finish the edges of all of our work. There should never be a raw edge anywhere on your project. Okay, now if you have a serger, that's great and wonderful and um, that's not what we're going to talk about today. Today we're just going to use a zigzag stitch. Now, I want to put my fabric, remember our little center piece right here, so that the center of the fabric comes up the center of my foot. I have set my zigzag so it's nice and wide. It's going to go across, back and forth, very wide across the seam. And then I've, I've made the stitch length about a medium stitch, okay? So I'm going to come down, see how it's going half on and half off of my fabric? That's kind of the way a serger works, is it loops the thread over the edge of your fabric. This is called overcasting the edge. All right, so now I have overcast the edge of this fabric and it looks like this. All of those little raw edge pieces are um, captured and they're not going to be able to come unraveled. Okay, so if you don't have a serger, this is the technique you're going to use. You're going to overcast the edge of all the raw edges in all of your projects. Okay, so now I have overcast both raw edges of both of my pieces of fabric. And I want to point out, um, the fabric lays nice and flat. It didn't curl under, it didn't um, pull up. It's the same size and shape as it was before I put the overcast edge on. Okay, so now um, I have my finished seams here, okay? I've put my right sides together, all right? So pretty sides together. All right, I have it in my machine and you notice I pinned it. That's gonna help me hold it nice together because you wanna keep these edges together and I pinned it like so. Now you want to pin it so that your pins go across the seam that you want to sew. Now there's a reason for that and let me show you. All right, I'm gonna do my 3 8 inch seam down the side of this. So I'm going to back stitch. Okay, so I've got my back stitch when I started. I'm following right along my 3 8 foot right here and as I get to where I'm going, I'm holding the fabric with this hand, I pull that pin out, and I put it where I'm keeping my pins, and then I just keep sewing till I get to the next pin, and I pull it out, and I continue the rest of the way down. Now, um, some older sewing machines you can sew over your pins if you're going nice and slow and it doesn't matter. Your newer machines are very particular about that and I don't recommend it. So for everybody, I recommend you pull your pins out. So here I am at the end. I'm going to do reverse. Ta-da! We sewed a finished edge seam. We backstitched at both sides. It's nice and neat. Okay, so here I am over at my ironing board, and my lighting over here isn't as good, so um, I'm sorry about that. So we've just sewn our finished seam here. We're going to take our hot iron, 
we're gonna press it like this. Now, most of us don't really enjoy ironing that much um, at all, <laughs> but in sewing it really is important to have a good hot iron with some steam, and it will make a lot of difference in your work. So now I've opened it up, I'm going to kind of finger press that seam open just a little bit and then I'm going to take my iron and go up, kind of wiggling it back and forth, pressing it flat. Shoot it with a little steam, okay, so that's already open. I'm going to turn it to the right side and press it down and you'll notice how nice and flat that seam is on the inside and the outside. So that is how you press a straight seam open. So your homework for today is to practice finishing your edges and keeping them so they don't curl under as you're zigzagging. All right, they should stay flat. Sewing your 3 8 inch seam and then pressing it open so that it looks nice and flat like this one. So until next time, this was Cindy at Vintage to New.